A few months ago, I started open my online store and here are the steps I took in order to open up and start successfully. So the first thing you're going to need, you're going to do is you need to come up with a name. Whatever it is, for me, it took me a really, really long time to get a name. But after you get your name, you got to go through all the legal process. You need a business license to let the government pretty much know you have a business. Like that will be your business entity. In my case, my case, I live in New Jersey. So my business was registered in New Jersey. I could have done it online for free, just pay the $10 fee that I think it is. But it would ask me for a registered agent. I didn't know what that was. I didn't want to complicate my life. So I consulted with a CPA and the CPA opened up my business. And at the same time, I think that was a good move for me because um, if you were to put yourself as the registered agent or again, do it by yourself, all of your personal information will be out there for everybody to um, reach you. So where you live, your phone number, like literally everything. So if anybody, God forbid, wanted to sue you, they will come directly to me. So in my case, all of my paperwork, all of my business paperwork goes directly to my CPA. He would know what to do if there's something that's an emergency he would contact me and we'll figure it out but on that end i'm fine along with the business entity certificate of formation however it's called in the state that you live you also need an ein an ein is like your business social security an ein is important for um, taxes purposes to avoid penalty if you're doing resell that's the number of resellers will ask you to ask proof to show so you can buy merchandise and resell another thing is that this EIN number is needed for you to open a business bank account it's needed for you to hire employees so it is important it's also asked when you are going along with a credit with with a bank account you also need it for a credit card literally all of that takes like 10 minutes when you're with your cpa like you give you give her or him all the information they will do what they got to do and you pay the fee etc and you are over it over it um the the third step around the third and the fourth step of the business is that you gotta figure out which website where you're gonna use there are many 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 out there I know there is Squarespace you can sell stuff to Squarespace you can do Shopify big cartel I can't remember the other ones but the route I chose to go with what I thought it was going to benefit me the most and what aligned with my stuff it was through Shopify it has been very easy for me to use Shopify. I was able to connect it to my Facebook page, um, Instagram, Pinterest, and everything is easy access. They have a bunch of free templates that you can use, but you also have the option to buy one if that is what you like. The fifth step is that, I don't know if it's a step, but it's something that I, I did, and it was that I tracked everything. Also for, for my peace of mind, but also for tax purposes. So what I mean by this, every invoice from my CPA, I save that, print it out, and I have it in a binder, along with all of my business paperwork. On top of that, Shopify is a membership. So I opened up QuickBooks, where it's easy for me to track all of my expenses. <laughs> it's just in one place. I'm not gonna lie, at the beginning I just used an Excel sheet that I made up because I didn't want to pay the membership for Quick for QuickBooks, but now I just ended up paying for it because it is very easy for me to have everything in one place. Even though, because sometimes I would forget to track something on the Excel sheet, but the good thing about QuickBooks is that you can link all of the bank accounts that are 
to QuickBooks that are part of your business and whenever you get a, a purchase, for example, you paid your Shopify membership, you will get a notification and you either and you can swipe if it's a business expense or not and it would plug it in for you automatically so you don't have to worry about it. Aside for my bookkeeping, which will go to number six, it was the part that I thought it was gonna be easy, but it wasn't. It was very hard and it was shopping for merchandise. In my case, I do clothing. And my mentality, I'm not gonna lie from the beginning, was that I was shopping as if I was shopping for myself. And I had to get out of that mentality because you may not like what I what I have, so I had to open up my mind and see and do market research because if you don't have market research, then you're screwed. You can't be shopping for yourself because that's it's for the business, not for you. After doing all of my micro research, all of my shopping, which by the way, there I again I live in New Jersey, and all of this big wholesalers are in Miami and mainly Los Angeles because we're in a pandemic I was not able to travel down to Los Angeles and you know see and feel quality I'm all about quality so there are many websites that can help you there's fashion go there's LA wholesale if I'm not mistaken there's another website called fair very fair and many little boutiques that have their own sites you just have to do your research read the reviews and you can kind of tell online based on the stitching on how it's worn if it's good quality or not which again is something I've been very 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 passionate about because I am all about quality I love quality it takes time because you're browsing but I recommend that you do take your time because you do want to sell something worthy. You just don't want to grab the, the next thing that comes along. And after you have your legal, your website, your where you're getting your supplies, pretty much your supplier, and your inventory, and your tracking, um, another thing is that you need to have like your logo and how you want to display your business name in my case I did it all myself because I do have knowledge in that area on the whole designing part because I didn't want anything extravagant like I wanted to be like me like plain and simple but I did it myself but I know there are people who are freelancers that you can hire a lot of good ones out there who are very inexpensive but the thing is when you're starting a business you don't want to have a lot of overhead which is something I didn't want to have which is why everything that I could have done myself I did it myself and I want to say last but not least even though business stuff can go on and on and on and on but you need to have a social media plan because that is how you're going to reach out to your people that is how you are going to get your customers first things first on instagram you need to have a business account not your regular schmegler how you would do it for yourself now they also have the feature the, to shop so you, again with my shopify i can link my shop feature on instagram and whenever i make a post i can directly tag the item and people can shop from the comfort of instagram i know many people don't like the way of the update but for business owners like us it's beneficial another thing you gotta look at your peak hours that way you know when to post when people are the most active on instagram so you can post and they're able to see it. You don't want to post at a certain hour when no one's going to see it. You just get zero likes, zero views. Also, you need to have pictures of the product. And by this, I mean clean images, cute product display, 
if you're doing clothing maybe have a cousin or a friend and do like um lifestyle photo shoot maybe you don't have to pay this person but maybe pay them with like a free item from your store just for helping you out all i have for today you guys if you like this i can i have so many more information about how to open up your own um online boutique online store because i've been through it and i'm still going through it it is a lot of work but it is so 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 worth it so i hope you like you comment and you obviously if you're not subscribed please subscribe it will really 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 help me out i hope that this information was valuable and good enough so for that i say my goodbyes and i see you on the next one Bye.